low. Well, I kind of want to just come on and just uh, talk about something that's been on my mind. I probably mentioned this before, um, probably been years ago though, um, and it's regarding crowdfunding, um, like specifically for movies. Um, I've noticed how um, a lot of movies aren't really uh, these days in terms of you know people doing independent uh, films aren't usually able to get their backing uh, complete or have much traction with that and uh, you know I've watched some videos and I've also, at one point, I'm sure some may remember uh, uh, years ago, uh, regarding the horror film I've been helping make, you know, helping with like a crowdfunding sort of campaign for those guys. Um, well, they were able to, you know, get enough money from themselves, uh, from others, as well as putting their own money in to do the movie and it's you know in indie films it takes quite a long time to, you know to get what from the very moment you're done with the script until it's finally out into the world to see you know in theaters or streaming or wherever um, it seems when it comes to crowdfunding movies and stuff like that don't seem to uh, have much uh, luck these days. A lot of people aren't able to really raise enough to get what they need, you know, the specific funds, like say movies, if somebody wants like $75,000, they're not always able to get much, maybe a couple hundred at best, um, or, or maybe Maybe a thousand at best, let's say. And at the least, maybe a hundred or a few hundred dollars. Because enough family and close friends have contributed to donations, but you know, you have to share a page over and over uh, at so many places, and it gets to a point where it seems like you're just uh, shoving it in everyone's face, and that's annoying, and people will then begin to ignore it you know maybe if somebody was interested at first like they read up on the you know page about what the movie's about and you know if there's a video about uh, to help give some more uh, to make the whole thing more interesting you know watch that uh, usually those aren't more than five minutes typically so you know a little campaign pitch uh, in video form and you know, of course you know there's always like sort of like uh, like tiers or rewards or of some sort like donate so much money you're gonna get this like you can you give five dollars you can get specific maybe some sort of like message or some sort of uh, maybe behind the scenes look at something that <clears throat> people later on will may get, maybe get to see um, but you'll get like a first look at uh, some of the process or like a poster or blu-ray version of the film though the blu-ray I'm sure would be like higher up of course, I'm sure also if you donate, whatever the highest would be, um, you probably get everything. Um, uh, unfortunately, the and, and in some cases you also you know, like get your name in the movie, like special thanks or something of that nature. So, you know, there's always like certain like goals regarding like a there's obviously a goal end goal of how much what it's looking at for a budget and then also from there you see uh, uh, 
the the how the the process of sorts of like a, you gotta determine what can you offer people and also keep up on a constant basis to keep people updated and if they're going to have to you have to sh uh, send out uh, whatever it is they however much they gave to the film gotta look at okay they donate this much so they they're gonna get this and you have to specifically give that to them on a specific time frame and uh, you know of course if you don't do the deliver then people are gonna be you know quite upset uh, so of course you know that's a downside but also you know the upside is if you're able to get your money or the, all the money you need perhaps even more which actually if you get more than what you initially asked that's probably better because things happen during the making of movies uh, especially with this one I've been working on for some years now um, be it uh, like locations things fall through that at one point was either good to go or perhaps it turns out not as convenient as initially thought and now you gotta think of something else uh, to do um, make sure it's uh, even better than than like located or and also like fits the overall script um, and the film itself it fits everything and so it's you know, the changes it all that drastic or it just fits with the tone of the movie um, <clears throat> that's something that I can say we've experienced uh, the making of this film that we've been working on for years now we just need a few more things finished um, reshooting like a couple of scenes then everything should be done but that's been said for so long that you know and every so often we keep filming new stuff but then there's always something that's a problem like not enough people that's also another thing you know you need people you need actors actresses especially specifically you know getting them to appear every day you're supposed to be shooting and also if there's always gonna be like one specific like uh, thing they wear like if they wear their own clothes they always have to remember what they wore if it's not gonna if their role isn't gonna just be like one day and you don't need to worry about what you wear like, and then if we have to re shoot it it doesn't matter if you you know wore that or not because uh, it's every, well, we're gonna just redo everything uh, and you're just there for the day uh, so on that in that in instances like that that's not a big problem but you know for main people like for lead actors actresses and supporting so forth where they're going to be there very consistent throughout the whole making of the movie you're going to need to make sure you everybody is there on time and also remember the clothes especially since it's an indie movie you may not be able to have certain like costumes or clothes made or picked out that will always be there for you you know usually for indie movies people wear their own clothes unless there's something specifically written into a movie that they have to wear and if that's the case hopefully people know somebody who can uh, give them these clothes or perhaps they already have these clothes and if it's like the director if they have it they can always bring it to the set every day wherever that is and yeah there's a, like, there's a lot of stuff that just in movie making in general you know there's a lot of things that happen obviously and you know budget is a big thing of that you know with indie films some, some of these smaller movies people don't always get paid a whole lot compared to if they were able to be like in a big budget movie and sometimes uh, 
people don't necessarily really get paid at all, but you know, they're that's fine. You know, if they're acting. You know, they get if it becomes a big thing, they get exposure. Hopefully, that does something for them, and they get to do more movies. Um, and if they work with the people again in that movie that they were in, that became like a big success, they then get to uh, hopefully get paid or get paid uh, more than they did before. And then again, the budget would be probably just be uh, bigger in general than what initially they made. Or for the first movie they made, um, or one of the first movies, whatever it is. Um, you know, this is a this is something that happens in with uh, crowdfunding. You really need to make sure you have you account for how much everything is going to cost, how much maybe new equipment you might need, how much they will cost, how much will filming, like say like in a restaurant or maybe at a bar. Uh, if you know people, maybe you can <clears throat> work a deal where you don't have to perhaps pay as much um, compared to what m the, the people may normally charge for like a movie or maybe if you, you're very good friends with people you might not have to pay anything at all but there also could be sort of stipulations to it that you know you do it for free but you know there's certain things you have to abide by follow uh, that way you know you can save money for perhaps hopefully on uh, other things that may come up and need to use to uh, cover whatever expense may happen um, because you know making movies you know unexpected happens even if you plan out everything you plan out have a, such a schedule that's so tight you're able to coordinate with all the actors actresses people behind the scenes you're able to get everybody there you know things happen that nobody expects um, and if you're doing this with crowdfunding and an uh, unexpected uh, problem occurs, you know, it's good to let them know what's going on and that there's a delay happening and as to what happened, like maybe somebody got sick. So you have to try and work around that if you're able to. Um, and so you know, do what you need to do to finish the movie and sometimes people can get impatient um, because you know they gave so much money and now the money they gave for this movie is now delayed for a day or two or however long it will be delayed if somebody is sick or somebody is injured for whatever reason like maybe it has something to do with the movie and they injure themselves like after they finished filming or on their way to shoot uh, a scene or two for the day <clears throat> might have hurt themselves and so things happen all the time you can't predict and uh, you know that's always a bit frustrating when you know people uh, want a product the big thing is a movie at the end of it they want a movie and um, there's certain things also are promised for donating certain amounts and you also uh, in the course of making the movie and getting everything up to even before filming the movie all this stuff you then have to make sure you have everything in order for the people who have backed your movie you got to make sure you have to do all this stuff to make sure it's comes together so smoothly and seamlessly for just the aspect of making this movie as well as uh, appeasing to those who donated to your movie um, obviously for like a something like a blu-ray or a poster or something of that nature that could be done after filming especially with the blu-ray part because you know first off there has to be a complete finished uh, definitive version of the movie you can then put on a blu-ray and then send it to people who have 
donated that amount that would get the Blu-ray, um, as well as perhaps a poster also. Uh, that can be done after filming, because, you know, it could be like, do some still shots, or take pictures, and maybe the picture could be like, you know, hey, that could work for a poster. Or maybe you know somebody who, you know, can draw, can design stuff like that, pay them a certain amount from the budget. Um, and there you go. And of course, also later on, there's distributing, which, you know, unless you yourself know how to do that so well, you might need another company. <clears throat> but that's a whole different thing. You know, it's one of those things where crowdfunding, you know, there's a lot of things you got to make sure you're always on top of. But, you know, the plus side is if you're successful, you got an X amount of money to do what you need to do. Comic books seems to be very good with crowdfunding these days. Not so much for movies and it could be because of everything I've just said and it could be for other things. You know, it could be that people donated to movies before but they never got made. So they donated something and then nothing ever resulted from them donating money giving money, or whatever you want to phrase it as. And then there could be, like, there are people who are just sort of, like, scanning people. Like, they, uh, say they're going to make a movie, they make a good video, and we'll detail page and stuff of rewards, and then when it comes down to it, now they can't do it because of X, Y, and Z. Um, which then, of course, is quite de uh, annoying, especially to people who have uh, who want to make mo movies, who either have before, want to go a different route, or are trying for the very first time to make their own movie. And then, but seeing how crowdfunding in any way, like fundraising, like on a public thing, like be a Kickstarter, Indiegogo, what have you nothing is really able to do so, or happen. And also a big part of it, you know, from this last time I helped those guys with their crowdfunding uh, stuff, a big part is the fact that you need to have a big following. You need to have a good amount of people who know who you are. You have to have a good following on social media. Wherever that is, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, uh, you know, and I have at this point over 300 subscribers, which I'm quite thankful of for. Um, but, you know, I also know that there are people who don't get notified who should. Um, some people who have been subscribed to my channel at a time when I wasn't really uploading much. And, you know, if I wanted to make money from YouTube, I probably would have uh, been doing this more and more constant uh, uh, years ago and started doing all this uh, way back when. But I'm doing this for fun, you know. Uh, you know, I've done various things for writing and stuff to be able to uh, get money for. So on that end, that's fine. Um, though if I was going to just do that, I'd have to really look at uh, save up a lot of money to really finance my own stuff my, on my own um, but also you know I'm looking at what it really takes to do a crowdfunding thing or, or campaign for like a movie and you know I'm just one guy I don't know who I could get to help me who would have enough free time to set aside to be able to help balance all that stuff out um, you know I would definitely need help I can't just do it all that all on my own um, because then it's like you know it'd be people who know how to sort that s stuff out a lot better than me and uh, yeah um, uh, that's another thing <clears throat> altogether. 
Um, yeah, it's just, it's sort of frustrating how with uh, crowdfunding these days with movies, at least when it comes to movies, unless you have a big following, uh, you have a system, you have a way to sort everything out, be able to give uh, the specific uh, rewards, tiers, perks, whatever you want to call it, to everybody on a specific uh, deadline. And for some, maybe a, you have to keep them in the loop on a uh, regular basis, not necessarily like daily or, you know, all the time, but maybe like a weekly or bi-weekly basis. And um, it could be there's not much to report on, and that's not something that people want to hear. Um, so there's a lot that goes into that. There's, uh, you know, and then there's also, like, you know, outside of that, there's, like, the traditional route of finding financiers, but then again, you have sort of that also, where people are giving you money, and then, you know, you might have freedom to do what you need to do, but it could be like, okay, by this time, uh, this year or whatever, we will be done, and if it's not done by that time, those people are going to be uh, quite annoyed, and understandably so. It's sort of like you know, it's sort of like crowdfunding thing <clears throat> situation. Regardless, you know, if delays happen, you know, unless you have very reasonable and patient people and are willing to let you finish everything, and no matter how long it takes for the movie to be made and everything, there are going to be people who are going to be uh, will be upset, uh, annoyed, whatever, and that's all understandable, but that's also a bit, uh, may not help things, you know, especially if, you know, by making movies, there's stress, you know, be very stressful to, uh, get your movie made, and, <clears throat> uh, you have a schedule, you go and do what you can to make sure it's on on time on schedule but you know unexpected things happen and sometimes you may not be able to shoot for whatever reason uh, <clears throat> you know it could be someone's sick somebody's injured you know and your director you're sick that's not good and it could be like it's not like you just have like a little cough and as long as you you know cover your mouth and you know, you have like a cold or something and do all that. Um, where you can actually be there and try to stay away from as much as people as you need to be, as far away from people as you need to be so you don't actually get them sick. Um, <clears throat> and then also, you know, just be there and get the stuff done. If you're like very, very sick or for a day or two, you can't be there. Or lead actor, or lead actress, sporting, sporting, um, actor, actress, whatever. It's important for a scene. You might not be able to uh, film, and you gotta account everything into like a crowdfunding, which is a lot of people. When it comes to like financing or something, like people financing a movie to you, you know, and that's another big thing, yeah. obviously. There are some independent film guys who are able to do that. Um, you know, you want to look at every another avenue, but you know, crowdfunding would be good, uh, great for me if it wasn't for the fact that if you if I don't have a huge following on social media online, I'm likely not to make whatever goal. You know, I could be like uh, my movie could be like uh, I don't know. Seventy five thousand to hundred thousand, let's say. <clears throat> not huge, but also not too small, you know, and for like a movie of mine, it could be quite um I could be very manage manageable. I don't think I'd be lucky enough to really get like something where like a, over a 
hundred thousand dollars. I don't think I would be able to necessarily get a hundred thousand, but like thinking best case scenario, maybe yeah, best case scenario, I could get like a hundred thousand if I make a good pitch video, have enough like perks, tiers, what have you, a certain amount of money to be able to get this and that, and I put things that I know I can actually uh, meet on a however regular basis. Uh, maybe make specific videos like certain like like vlogs, giving some sort of updates to people, um, and that's a big thing I've come to that I'm like I'm not really able to think of too many perks or certain goals like when you donate so much money you'll get something that's my big thing like I guess like for whatever the highest thing would be like $30 let's say get like a blu-ray get a poster get whatever whatever all the other like perks are you get all that but uh, yeah I don't know I that's just something that you're just sort of like, you're not totally sure what to do. Uh, and that's my big problem. Like, I couldn't really be able to, I don't believe I could actually be too well at uh, doing a, a Kickstarter type campaign or Indiegogo campaign. Because I don't know uh, how much money for so much money amount of money to for certain perks that I could definitely be able to get on a regular basis I can't think of anything that I would be able to provide I don't know anybody who would be able to help me with that sort of stuff uh, so that's a big problem right there so that's another reason I never tried and of course the other is the fact that I've helped out with people on this shared everywhere I could done what I could to let people know about hey there's this movie I'm gonna help work on it's a horror movie and have so many so much you're gonna say and you know I, I you don't want to say too much to give the whole movie away but you want to say enough to sort of like peak interest enough to make people want to really consider uh, donating so, a certain amount um, big or small, it doesn't matter. Uh, and that's another thing, you know, and if that doesn't really work very well with others who have been doing that, and I'm like, you know, if that didn't work out for them, it probably wouldn't work out too well for me. Um, you know, you know, even with 300 plus subscribers at this point, there are people who may not be able to see all my videos on a regular basis because, you know, maybe the, they don't get notified or something else. Um, uh, maybe a thing, like, just, they might not get on as much anymore on YouTube. They might be so busy they can't even, like, see many YouTube videos. They might have so many notifications because they don't check them often that it's like, well, mm, oh well. You know, they're not going to be able to watch all the stuff that I or others have. And they'll pick and choose what they want to watch. So, yeah, that's just something about, you know, crowdfunding. Something that's been on my mind, I've noticed, with crowdfunding for movies isn't really as possible anymore. I know Spike Lee was able to get one of his movies, I think Chirac, if I remember correctly. He was able to get that movie made with crowdfunding. Uh, but I think that was just before that hit its peak regarding, like, uh, with uh, movies, <clears throat> let's say. Um, after its peak was hit, it seems like people just aren't interested anymore. You know, either they've donated to a certain project, they've saw the project, disappointed by it, or the project just never happened for whatever reason. Um, I guess so many people have been burnt or just been disappointed or just not interested that, you know, 
crowdfunding for movies uh, is it like it used to be it's not like 2014 or 15 where it was quite possible um, these days it's not as possible it looks like um, you know I mentioned comic books those can be because you know maybe people have worked on comic books before so you can read those and get those read them if you like uh, the writer you like the people who do the art style all that stuff you then might be able to like all right I'll donate and then I will get it um, yeah it's like it's just something that that seems to be easier um, plus people can just write stuff and then there you go get it out there as soon as possible um, all while with a film it takes quite some time it takes many months in some instances years um, but yeah uh, it's just a, something that I just thought of wanted to just sort of make a non specific movie like you know talking about a specific film um, I've actually been talking about recently the Friday the 13th movie so Hopefully that's all fine, uh, that I made this and that's not a big deal for you all. But that's just something that, you know, for me, I've been interested in. I'm curious what you guys think. <clears throat> um, you know, you know, making an independent film where you're totally independent and don't have to have a whole lot of people to answer to regarding any sort of backing is... So that a lot of people want, and in some cases people get. Um, that of course does have some disadvantages in that, um, you know, problems occur uh, with so many things um, that you couldn't ever expect or uh, think would ever happen. Um, and if you have a like financing, like if it's a movie is being financed by some company or some group, they'll, you have to answer to them. And while you may be independent in that, whatever you make will, in the final cut of the movie, will be what people see. That may be a be a thing. You still have to answer to people. Like if like if it's being postponed a bit because of someone's sick or somebody broke a hand or a leg or whatever. You know, uh, that's not going to be something that people will want to hear, obviously. And they're not going to be happy that, you know, movies being delayed and have no clue when you'll be able to finish it. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just something that's very just... I thought that's very interest. It's a very interesting topic with crowdfunding, and um, I just wanted to give my overall thoughts on the topic of from my experience and what I've uh, watched people talking about, and even reading some stuff online. Um, yeah, what do you think? Um, do you think there's anything to it? Do you think that it's not as likely to get movies made these days? Through like a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo campaign, or could it be possible again in the future and just get the right people involved and you can do it and <clears throat> have little to no problem? Um, yeah, just give me your thoughts if you like, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, I hope you all have a great day, great weekend, great week. See you all next time.